Welcome back to Longwood's Comcast, brought to you by the students and the Communication Studies major. I'm Jacob Holloway, and join us as we highlight Longwood's Step Club this week. Longwood Service Dog Training Education Program, also known as STEP, is an organization dedicated to educating the importance and impact on service animals. Joining us on set to tell us more about this club is Aaron Peachin and Sophia Douglas and Rob. Thank you guys for joining us today. All right, so one of the main goals of STEP is to educate others on the importance of uh, service animals. Uh, is there any other goals or purposes that uh, STEP has? The main mission of STEP is just to primarily educate the Longwood community and the surrounding community on service dog etiquette. With that, we take learning the commands both when the dog is growing from a puppy state mm -hmm. all the way to um, what we call an adult state. Mm -hmm. Those are basic 30 commands. We make sure that everyone knows that the dogs, they have a purpose, they have mm -hmm. a job. We get these pups at eight weeks old and we have them for about eight, 15 to 18 months. Uh, we teach them very basic commands, uh, we socialize them. So STEP obviously uh, impacts obviously its members and other people that are provided with service animals. Does it feel good to like be able to promote awareness and education about something that's like so needed in this society and community? I think it's definitely a rewarding thing to do knowing that your contributions are going to help someone else who needs help or a little more support. Um, even if you don't end up raising or if you don't end up going further with um, STEP or with Canine Companions, mm -hmm. I think it's definitely a very um, amazing opportunity to be able to interact with these kinds of opportunities mm -hmm. and the friendships that you make along the way. I think it's a very rewarding opportunity for sure. Thank you guys for joining us in the studio today. We actually sent our own Audrey Behringer uh, to attend the puppy prom this past Saturday, and we'll take a look at that next. All right, hi, I'm Audrey, and I am at the Step Puppy Prom, and we are gonna be learning who people would like to see be puppy prom king and queen. So, if you had to vote, who would it be for puppy prom king first? Uh, Rob. Rob? Um, probably Aesop. Rob. Rob. I love Rob. his name. I mean, we just love that. We love his vibe as well. Aesop, because of his cute little bow, and also he has a great personality. If I had to pick the Puppy King, honestly, I think I'd go for Rob. Rob's looking very sophisticated, got a nice tie, and just looks amazing overall. Very formal dude. Who would you vote for Queen? Definitely Kayla. Uh, Kayla. Kayla. Princess? Princess is looking pretty good. Hartley. However, she is not here, but I heard that she had a very nice pink tutu. Where did I say Kayla? What was her? Yeah, Kayla. It's looking like Rob and like Kayla them. might take the, the might crown take tonight. Thank you, Audrey, and to our guests in the studio today. On behalf of our crew, thanks for tuning in to Comcast. I'm Jacob Holloway, and we'll see you next time.